now that I'm thinking about it, I don't recall too many times in my adult life somebody came to me and said, I heard you say this, if they bold enough to approach me. Or somebody come to me and say, yeah, it's being said that you said so-and-so. Because that's not my character. So if somebody go back and tell somebody something I said, they not going to approach me because they know I said it. And whatever I'm saying ain't going to be no lie. So I'm not going to sit there and say, yeah. Evangelist Olin always said that she went up on the top of the Empire State Building and received the Holy Ghost. Now, when we get back to Evangelist Oldham, Evangelist Oldham, the Evangelist Jordan going around spreading that you said this, that, that you went to the Empire. What? So that she can approach me and say that. But if somebody come and say, well, Evangelist Jordan said, you, you talking about you got the Holy Ghost in your house. You need a witness. She said, you need a witness. And if you ain't got no witness, you ain't got no Holy Ghost. She can't fuss to the person and say, why? Because it's going to hit her because she knows that Evangelist Jordan told her that before. So I'm saying all that to say this. If you know your children... You know their personalities. Not so much of what they do and don't do. That's where the issue come out. That's where the issue comes out with parents and their children. They more so want to defend the children in reference to what they do and what they don't do. Oh, no, my child ain't did that. Oh, no, my child don't smoke. Oh, my child didn't say that. But the thing is, you ain't with the child. So you don't know what the child is saying or doing. And that's what I had to learn. So what I focus on now, I know my children are sinners. So somebody come and say, yeah, I saw Mary Danielle, whoever, around the corner, um, cursing so-and-so out, cursing somebody else out, yelling and screaming. I know it's true because that's what they do. But, well, I should say I know it's true because that's their personality. But if somebody come and say, I saw them in the store stealing, I can't say, no, nah, you ain't seen my child stealing because I know my child. I say, I don't know nothing because my child is a sinner. But the personality of stealing, I can go by, back, I can go and say, well, I don't, I don't know Mary to be that type of person. I don't know her to be a stealer. I said, but I'm not saying she didn't do it. You see what I'm saying? You know, so when you get to learn your children, you know them. If you know your children, they never stole nothing when they was kids, all the way up to to their teenage years, all the way up to being in the house with them. Somebody come and tell you that they stole something, you still can't say that they not no stealer because the devil is seeking whom he made the vow. But if somebody come and tell me that my child committed a suicide or my child killed somebody or whatever the case may be, hmm, I would have to think twice like that because I can't accept the fact that my child did something out of the ordinary that I am never had any idea or I wasn't given no initiative from them or no signs from them that they wanted to kill themselves. But when you know your child, you can catch all that in them. Even if they feel like they they in some type of depression. Well, I can only speak for myself. My kids get in some type of depression suddenly. I feel it. I know it. The Holy Ghost let me know. See, Daniel carry her. Well, I got to say, we all like that. Cherry, um, Danielle, um, Tandra, Mary, they all carry their expressions on them. They got that from me. Because Tracy is very cold-hearted. 
in the face. So if he feel in some kind of way, you'll never catch it. The only way you know Tracy feel in some way, if he bring it out of his mouth and his actions. But you would never know by his face. You see what I'm saying? He's not so much of a person to express anger as opposed to me and Mary and Danielle. He is that quiet anger. So if he feels some kind of way, he let me know. I don't like that. And when he gets angry about somebody, I, about something, I know he's angry and I know he don't like it. Because he is that type of man that it takes a whole lot for him to get, well, I'm not going to say for him to get angry, but it takes a whole lot for him to express his anger. You see what I'm saying? But on the on the downside of it, of it, he has a lot of sneakiness in him. He got a lot of selfishness in him, and he holds grudges, and he ha- he plots. So because of all those things, he don't express. See the difference with me and me, me and Danielle. We express. We don't plot nothing. We can even, well, she can say, I don't too much say it. She can say, well, I'm going to do it. I ain't doing this no more. I ain't doing that no more. I'm tired of it. And she turn around and she do it again. Because her, our nature is just to automatically, we got the gift of help. Daniel got the gift of help, just like I do. So we, we walk down the street and we see somebody drop something are about to drop something, we'll run and try to catch it and let them know they're dropping it. Whereas, opposed to my other children, they'll sit right there and see you about to drop it. They'll sit right there and see somebody coming behind you to steal. They'll sit right there and see somebody doing something or going to do something and they won't say nothing because they don't have that gift. Not being wrong or right, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a fact of what you got in you. The gift that you had. So with this lady, when they asked her, was these friends that she hang out with? I can tell that she didn't want to answer that. And in my opinion, she didn't want to answer it. Because maybe prior to that, these friends was around her. They went and they hung out and all that stuff. And they, you know, they they was together. Maybe not all the time, but they was together. Prior to college. I mean, while they was in college. But now she's seeing another side of them. So in other words, she don't want to really associate them with her daughter. Because she don't want nobody to know that her daughter was associated with these type of people. So she kept focusing on the one that everybody... I don't know that she's doing that purposely or it was a smart thing or what, but she was focusing on the person that everybody else on the Internet is focusing on, which is the gentleman, you see? Just, you know, whatever case, I don't want to talk too much about that. But, um, oh, you know your children. My child come to me and tell me I'm going to Mexico. I'm be like, what you going to Mexico for? Oh, I'm going with so-and-so. I'm going to let him know, listen, I don't think you should be going out no country with that boy or with that girl or with your friend. Oh, they having a party. Well, why they can't have it in the United States? Do you not know that the laws in another country does not got, got nothing to do in New York City? So if I know that my child is a smoker, and my child is a drinker. You don't need to go out the state. Because if you go out the state and you get stupid out there, you stuck out there. Because I can't get out there. And I ain't coming out there. So I would have to be over here worrying Jesus about you. Worrying God about you. Praying that his will be a good goodness. Praying that he send his grace and mercy to get you back to the United States. So I'm not going to put no extra work on him. I'm going to let you know, based on what he say, don't you go out there. Because I know how you are. Just like I had told Tandra. I said, listen, Tandra. I said, 
I love children, and I'm glad that you want to have some children. But I think that you don't need to have no children now. Because it ain't going to be no good for you. Y'all going to get in arguments. Y'all going to have this child in arguments. And it's going to reflect off on the child. Tandra got mad with me, cursed me out. You don't want me to have no children. What kind of mother is that? What kind of mother is that? But you don't want no grandchildren? It's not the fact that I don't want no grandchildren. It's the fact I don't want no drama with my grandchild. I don't want no drama with y'all. But she got mad with me. She cursed out. Now, I had no idea that the baby father was going to be doing the things that he did to Trace, to Trace, that he was doing the things that he did to Tandra. I saw the manipulation as time went on because this pregnancy took place in the, in the first initial introduction. So however long that he was dealing and how they got together, how they met, it wasn't long enough before she got pregnant. Because pregnant, I think Tim was about 16, 15 or 16 years old when she got pregnant. So she was very young. She was younger than me. So she didn't get that. So you know how children say, well, I don't know why you don't want me to have no baby. You had one when you was young. Couldn't tell me that. I got pregnant when I was 17. No, I got pregnant when I was 18. I got married, had my child when I was 19 and got married. So I got married to the guy I got pregnant with, by, which is my husband today. So... I warned her ahead of time. I warned her and let her know. And then as time went on and the child was born and all that, all types of incidents, it came out because I told her before she had the baby, I said, you don't need to have a child because you might wind up hurting that child. I said, if you hurt that child or the child get hurt in any kind of way, that's going to be an ACS case. You're going to get an ACS. And then once you get an ACS case, they're going to always be in your life. I got rid of them because I decided to go get me some knowledge about them. God put right people in my path because of prayer and not mine. And I was able to learn about the system. And I was able to beat the system, but honestly. So where I was naive, dumb and naive and scared, I became more bold. Because I had knowledge. You see what I'm saying? I went and got me a lawyer outside of what's the faith where it was paid through a program. So I had to wait. I'm, I'm sure it was by the city, but it wasn't within the city courts. It was outside. I find, what's that, aid? I forgot what they call that, aid. No, not financial aid. It's another legal aid, right? It was outside of legal aid in the system. It was legal aid, free legal aid, but it had nothing to do with the courts. And... That lady gave me a lot of knowledge. She made me speak the truth, tell the truth, what was going on, how it got to that, and I told them the truth. It wasn't no drugs. I wasn't taking no drugs. I drank, but it ain't had nothing to do with my alcohol because I never went and beat up my kids because I wanted to drink. See what I'm saying? I wasn't no smoker except for cigarettes. I never went and beat them up because I wanted some cigarettes. It was my habit, and my habit stayed with me. I would get money. I would beg for money from my grandmother. And when she gave me money, I bought what I needed. Instead of buying a 36 or a 48 pamper, I would buy a 12. You see what I'm saying? And I know I would have to beg again before the, by the next week. But it will always, one thing I was smart to do is to always save money until I'm close to when I get paid. So when I'm 
when I it's let's say I'm gonna get paid in two weeks, three weeks. I mean payment from public assistance was every two weeks, but I'm saying by the by by two days I was out of money. So I would go to mommy, ask mommy for money, and I would get the amount of pampers that I would need for up until my next payday. So I was able to buy my pack of cigarettes. I wasn't too much for Lucy's. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wasn't. I very seldom went in the store and bought Lucy's. I didn't like loose cigarettes. My thing was a pack. So I would buy my pack. And so... Um, once, once, once I told the lady my feelings and what went down, I had to even go on my, I had to go on my childhood, a little bit in my childhood and stuff like that. She, she started spilling her guts. Like I was a therapist. Like I, not the therapist, like I was a lawyer. She was telling me all different things. She was telling me how the system was, what they do, what they don't do. She was telling me how to do things. She would send me to court because I would be, I would get scared and I'd be like, I gotta go to court. I ain't got no representation. And when she would tell me I won't be there, I would be so scared. She said, Miss Jordan, don't you worry. She said, you go in the court and this is what you say. Let me write this down. So she write it down. She's saying, you take it with you. You put it in your sleeve. You put it in your pocketbook. You put it in whatever. And when you get in front of the judge and she say something about your representation, if you got to pull out the paper, you pull it out and say, oh, she said such and such. And believe me, when you say this, they're going to adjourn that. And I'm looking at the word like, what is this word? What does it mean? And how is it going to affect me? Just this little word I'm going to say, and they ain't going to say nothing. I will go into the court. They will go with representation. I will say that word, and they, and they say, oh. And when I told them who my lawyer was, they said, oh, you got Miss so-and-so. Okay. All right. Let me look at my calendar. Let me see. Let me see. Um, I got this date because she gave me the date that she was available. I gave, I said, no, she said such and such a time, and blah, blah, blah. They said, oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody was like, she 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 said she been in the system. She was a um, a ACS worker, but she said she. No, she was in the court system. That's what she was. She was in the court system, and I believe she said she was an ACS worker, but she got out of it and she, no no, my mom. She was, a ACS worker lawyer, right you know, social work or whatever. And she said she got out of it because of how the system dogged the parents. And she said there was a lot of cases where it wasn't the parents' fault. She said, and sometimes, she said, Miss Jordan, I'm going to tell you, sometimes them cases is because of the kids. But because the city is so into protecting the kids that it's hard for the parents to win. That's why they wanted me to be a parent advocate. Yep, they were telling me to sign up for a parent advocate. They said I would be good for a parent ag- advocate. So um, I was like, so I went there. After she told me all that, I learned. I learned how to put my feelings in the right jaw. When people say things to me or people say something to me about my kids or whatever, if it's not true, I, I don't even say nothing. I, I may say, oh, that's not true and just go on about my business. But when they would say things about my children and it be true, I'd be like, okay, all right. So anyway, that's it. <laughs>